Hi guys, uh, I'm Nidal, I'm from Western Digital, and lately we've been interested in the RISC-V for uh, embedded systems. Uh, we start by investigating embedded uh, systems, real embedded systems for core density. We came up uh, with a few tests uh, to address these uh, core density uh, issues, and one of them is what I'm going to present today and it's the common load store base address offset, a long name. Uh, we've uh, submitted a batch, it was a joint effort with the Embicosm uh, company, and I'd like to talk to you about this batch. Uh, from our investigation, we saw that uh, in some cases when we're uh, addressing memory, the GCC compiler outputs uh, the code for the load and store uh, commands in 32 uh, bits, which is not compressed, uh, even if it can uh, do better. If you can see on the left side uh, table, you'll have the store and the uh, loads, uh, while you can also notice that the store word have the same uh, address and the same offset, the same register and the same offset, while the uh, loads will step in four bytes each time. But if we can just rebase on the right side, rebase the addresses for the registers, we can go through the, these steps in compressed uh, instructions. So we did that. Uh, we also have a penalty of adding uh, a new instruction for each uh, sequence or series of load and store. So to compensate on that, we can see that only if we have three uh, sets of stores uh, or loads at the same basic block, we can rebase with, having, uh, with saving uh, some code density. But when we reached the benchmarks and we started testing the, uh, the patch we've uh, got, we saw that in our test case, we've had 20% of uh, code reduce, while in the benchmarks, we've got less than 0.1%. Uh, it's actually a 0.06%. So, why am, I, why am I boring you with this? <laughs> well, I'm here today to seek your uh, opinion and support for this uh, patch because the benchmarks we're running uh, uh, the test on are more algorithmic uh, uh, tests than, uh, uh, than code size tests. Uh, today, the MCUs are more of a, con a controller, more of uh, uh, controlling uh, devices, drivers, not computing, especially for uh, uh, small footprint uh, uh, devices. And it doesn't need to do complex uh, things. It just get the address, loads uh, things, and store things. So the current uh, uh, benchmarks, and uh, excuse me for the typo here, it's not the M bench, it's the me bench. It doesn't give it uh, the doesn't give it the test that the result that we need. So I'm here to try and convince you to accept these patches because for this uh, insignificant result, I don't think many of you will accept that. So this is why I'm here, this is what I'm uh, trying to present. Thank you. Just a silly question, but does your transform, your optimization, can it possibly do any harm? And not that we uh, saw. We've uh, run uh, regressions. We've uh, run uh, um, many tests. We didn't see any harm, but we didn't see any benefit running the typical uh, algorithmic uh, tests. OK, but if there's no harm in terms of growth of the code size and under any condition that you can, your algorithm checks for, I can't imagine any harm in including the, the patch. Like, I'm not a GCC guy, but 
if it's not harmful and you can sh see some benefit in your application, I, I don't think it's a big hurdle. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, um, I really like the overlap between your presentation and Jeremy's at the start. And I think this goes to Nick's question about um, what real world embedded code can look like sometimes. So I think this is great feedback uh, for Mbench that this kind of application program does exist as well as the, the, the um, algorithmic ones that you've put in. Yeah, it's not only for this batch. Um, we're here trying to present that uh, there are some tests that the mbench can uh, catch and see the significance of these uh, uh, batches and uh, these optimizations more than uh, the other uh, current uh, benchmarks that we have. I, I should add that Nidal and his colleagues are part of the mbench team and uh, Ofer over there has been a very active contributor. Um, I've, uh, and we have looked, um, but we're, mbench is still a work in progress. So we're very open to suggestions of what we can add to that. More questions for Nidal? Comments? Suggestions? Joseph, you're GCC man. Do you want to comment on the suitability of this sort of batch? Okay. Oh, well, that's quite something. Um, <laughs> okay. I uh, thank you all very much. Uh, thank you to the speakers. Um, for those interested in Risk Five. Uh, the Risk 5 BOF will be in the third room in a few minutes' time. Thank you.